What is up, YouTube? Goonigan here, back at with the My League Simulation, and today we are simulating the entire career of Isaac Bongo Drums right here. 19 years old, out of Germany, one year pro, or two year pro now, right? Since, yeah, it should be two year pro, I think? So we are starting on the 2019-2020 season. A my team legend, incredibly good my team legend. Always a budget card for for budget my team players, stuff like that. And well, one of the greatest to ever do it. One of the greatest to ever do it, as you can tell right here. Okay, we're gonna look at his per 36 minutes, 7.5 rebounds, 4.5 assists, three steals a game. One, he does everything, and shoots 15 percent. Haven't watched a lot of Wizard games, I'm going to be honest, so I'm guessing they play him a lot at the small forward, power forward position. I know the Wizards were also hit with a lot, a lot of injuries, but before the video starts, before we make him into a legend, drop a like, drop a comment down below who'd you like to see next. If you're new, subscribe to the channel, but let's get to it. Now, Isaac is most definitely a dude I'm going to send to the G League, even if it's just for one season. He's a 72 overall. I don't think he's getting minutes for the Wizards. Let's fix this. Of course, John Wall is going to be completely healthy. Where the, where's he at? Where's he at? He's at the bottom as a reserve. The disrespect. So we're going to go ahead, go to Isaac, assign him to the capital city, Go-Go. Is that what their name is? But Isaac Banga, he'll come back as probably a close 80 in the offseason. We'll give him an untapped potential. A and he'll come back great. He'll have a decent shot, hopefully. He'll improve everything else. He'll, he'll be a great small forward, power forward combo. I wish he was still at point guard and stuff like that. But we'll see what he can put up as a floor spacing slasher right now. We could probably look at the G League stats as well. See what he's doing in the G League. I honestly couldn't find Isaac Vanga in any of the stats for the G League. So I don't know. Uh, they did call him up. So then I had to change the call up and call down option so I could control it. Because they called him up out of the G League when I'm like, nah, keep him in there. So he could be the best can be going into the next season. LeBron James is the MVP of the season. Morant, Rookie of the Year. Yusuf Nurkic, Sixth Man. Defensive player, Kawhi. Luka Doncic most improved coach of the year steve kerr uh 39 and 43 for the washington wizards so they should have another lottery no they don't they made it as an eighth seed player stats bradley beal 27 a game and then john wall 18 and 7 looks like they made some trades though they got Dion waiters out here um they like taking laker players i guess since he was on the Lakers, same with Mo. Uh, Isaac Bongo was on the Lakers. But yeah, let's go ahead and simulate these playoffs. Let's go see how much he improves. We get 4 0'd by the Toronto Raptors. And then Giannis takes away another another finals from LeBron. He loses another one. Giannis takes his first. 33 and 12, 59%, 46% from three. And now we go ahead, check out Isaac Bonga's improvements. He should stay on the... I'm pretty sure he has one more season on his rookie scale. Here we are, player progression. We see a lot of green for a lot of players. Uh, but where is... Where's our guy? Where's our guy at? Okay, they got Onyeka with the 15th overall. That's actually a really, really solid pick. 15th overall. He goes up only three. I might send him one more season. I might send him one more season. Unless he's getting okay minutes. Then I just give him an untapped potential. And then we just continue to improve him through training camps. Uh, but is, if he's getting okay minutes, then I might just leave him on the team. Well, he's not getting minutes. He's the 12th man. There's no reason to just keep him here. Um, they got Brim Forbes. They got Onyek off the bench. Quinn Cook and Mo. So it looks like a okay bench. Oh, and JaVale McGee is back with the Wizards. So one more season. We're going to send him straight to the G League. And he's probably going to be incredibly unhappy with the Washington Wizards. So he might end up leaving. Leaving. we might have a new team but at least he'll be a maybe a borderline starter wherever he goes last season here they might resign him we'll see what happens but another season of just the g league and then i gave him an untapped potential his potential went to an a minus so hopefully that's enough for him to make the jump into possibly the low 80s halfway mark of the season and isaac's putting up 22 points in the g league uh 3.4 assist five rebounds one block a game on 50 percent shooting 31 percent from three and almost 80 percent from the free throw line in 32 minutes so somebody can definitely use his service is on an NBA team he's gonna come back and be a hopefully a great small forward power forward uh, will improve his shooting so he's not just a slasher and he's still incredibly young 21 so hopefully from here on out or at least from the next season on out um, he's a starter slash 
solid NBA player actually getting minutes because the Washington Wizards, they just don't care about him, man. Year two, Giannis. Year one was LeBron. Now it's Giannis as the MVP rookie of the year. Wiseman, DeMarcus Cousins, sixth man. Kawhi, defensive player, most improved. Markel Fultz, Rick Carlisle, coach of the year. And here we go. Another season. They're the seventh seed now. They barely improved. It would be kind of cool to stay with the Washington Wizards if they kept everybody. Like if Onyeka is going to continue to improve. So they have a nice big there. Uh, they get knocked out again in the first round. Um, but they still, like I said, Bradley Beal, Onyeka. That's a nice little two. And then Isaac Bonga comes in, plays a solid small forward role. Raptors champions, once again, Pascal puts up 30 and 7 in the finals. Defeats the Warriors. Curry thompson Millsap, wiggins is that really enough for them to just get back to the finals like that i mean it might shoot if curry puts up 37 a game or whatever he's putting up he put up 20 no he put up 31 in the season with 8.6 assists and two steals i mean that, might, that just might be enough the magic are the team that give him a one-year contract he is out here with vucevic mo bamba so um probably trade nicola or something and keep mo Build around Mo. Uh, Aaron Gordon still here. Uh, Evan Fournier stay here. Ricky Rubio they signed for a season or trade for him? I have no idea. Looks like they might have traded for him from Phoenix. They have Malik Beasley. They have Isaac Bonga who goes up five, low 80s. Now he gets minutes. Now he gets minutes. They got Greg Brown, Garrison Matthews, Markeith Morris. So probably another borderline playoff team. But we'll see what Isaac does. He's actually starting for the Magic. Let's go. Small forward, power forward, 6'8". We'll see what he puts up in his technically only a second season play. And he's only a one-year pro, it says, because he hasn't played in the last two seasons. What kind of one badge? Teardropper? That's it? I gave him an untapped potential again. And it only went it went from an A- minus to an A-. minus, So it didn't improve that much. Probably going to give him one more on tap potential. And then improve everything else. His perimeter defense. His, his shooting. His passing. Everything that I can over these years. But now he is starting. We'll see what he puts up as a starter. Alongside Rubio, Evan, Aaron Gordon, and Nikola Vucevic. The bench isn't bad. Considering they have an 85, an 80, an 80. Um, a lot of shooting guards, so hopefully we can play small forward, power forward. They're not even giving Greg Brown minutes right now. Uh, so, yeah, I'm hoping we run the small forward spot and the a little bit of a power forward spot as well. But for a season for Isaac Banga, actually being a starter, let's get it. And his first season with the Magic, they finished 27 and 55. He's not scoring a lot because a lot of guys are borderline 20 point scorer, scorers here. Vucevic, Fournier, Gordon, Rubio doing his thing with 13 and 8. And then we even Malik scoring more than us, man. Mo off the bench is scoring more than us. Uh, Willie or not? Okay. Okay, dude, you don't got to all score more than us off the bench. 7.8 for Isaac Banga, 4.6 rebounds. 51% from the field. That's pretty damn good. 34% from three. Okay. I like those numbers. I like this. I like the percentages. The minutes per game, 27.1. Per 36 would be 10 and 6. And he only gets better. Those will go up to like 15 and 6. So, yeah. Yeah. I mess with that. I mess with that heavy. 27 and 55, though. We miss out on the playoffs. The Wizards don't make it as well. So, and we're probably going to go to a new team. Luka Doncic, playoff Luka, too ridiculous. 35, 8, and 8, almost 9. 56%, 40%, finals MVP, NBA champion. And now we see if the Magic have the money to keep us or we go on to another team, which is most likely what's going to happen. Back to Los Angeles. He goes with the Los Angeles Clippers. Wait, where is he? Did he not improve that much? He improved one overall? why one overall improves his inside game his mid-range game his rebounding goes up his iq goes up so that's great his potential still an a minus i'm gonna give him another untapped potential see if that hopefully improves him um i'm also gonna go look at his like peak start and peak end because if for some reason his peak start is like 22 then he's gonna not improve that much faster than this which is a bad thing and i might change that but chris paul is back with the clippers for two more seasons that's a gr that's gross that's gross. There's nothing going for the Clippers right now. Not even a young piece. Not even a lottery pick. What? Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan could come, you know, he could be something decent. But he's playing the same position as us, which is a problem. His peak start is 24 years old. We're definitely changing that to be like 27. His peak end, 
maybe 30, 32, 31, 31. We'll leave it at 31. His peak start will start at 26. So he has four more seasons or four more years or at least three more years because I think he's going to be 23 this season. Um, but that's why he only improved one. Why would they have his peak start so young? Anyways, that's what we're switching there. So hopefully he improves a little bit more than an 81. He only went up one this offseason. Anyways, he got paid $15 million. He should still be a starter for this. Never mind. TJ Warren's here. I completely forgot about that. He is the seventh man. Might get the same minutes as he did last season. And this team looks like another team that's going to miss out on the playoffs, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. Big Yikes just traveling around the league, playing with every single team. <laughs> we'll see you guys at the end of the season most likely or i might just go to the off season and uh see what new team we're on and hopefully we improve quite a bit more than just one overall all right ladies and gentlemen isaac bonga's in free agency he doesn't have a team meaning i can't give him an off season camp a training camp of any sorts this these are his numbers he put up for the los angeles clippers so he's getting better as you can tell He's getting a, a lot better, 10.5, 6.4 rebounds. Um, I think he would put up some super nice numbers eventually, meaning because he's going to miss out on an off-season training camp, I'm going to push that that those years back. I'm going to push those years back of his uh, peak start and peak end because it's whack. It's whack that I can't give him a training camp. He gets signed to a team. That team is the Sacramento Kings. Yeah, like I said, he's just traveling the NBA. He's traveling the country, going from team to team. De'Aaron Fox, Buddy Hill. This team doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad at all, but it... Uh, oh, wait. They got Tyler here off the bench, too. Terry. They got Isaac as the eighth man. Ten-man rotation. Eleven-man rotation. I forgot. That's what Luke Walton does. What a weirdo. They're 3-0, though. We'll see how well he does. We'll see if he gets a contract in the offseason. Like I said, I moved back his peak start and his peak end from 26 years old. So I moved it peak start to 27, peak end to 32 instead of 31, just because we missed out on a year of an offseason training camp. And those help a lot to his improvement. I couldn't give him another untapped potential to make it like an A+, because his potential is at an A, I believe. And, or I couldn't give him something else, like a combo guard to improve his handles, his vision, his mid-range shot. That improves so much. But that's why I just simply moved his peak start and his peak, and hopefully that makes up for it, kind of. Giannis has won the MVP like three years in a row. I'm pretty sure Jaden Hardy, rookie of the year, six man, Cade Cunningham, Anthony Davis, defensive player, LaMelo Ball, most improved 31 and 12 for my Chicago Bulls. Red Popovich, 60 and 22. Looks like they're back on top. Oh my. Oh my. Who do they have? Wait, I didn't mean to simulate playoffs. I want to look at just their roster. Murray's a 91. Anthony Edwards. Okay, that that that's pretty much the only reason. Anthony Edwards. But the Kings do make the playoffs as the sixth seed, so that's great. We're back in the playoffs, but we're probably not getting meaningful minutes. 9.7 points. And how many? 22 and a half. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. Our per 36 will be 15.6 points and eight rebounds. Just continue to improve, man. He's already 24 years old, though. That's kind of a problem. Wait, I didn't just mean to simulate games. Simulate the entire round. We're going to beat the Portland Trail. We just choked a 3-0? 3-1? Either way, we choked. I forget. I mean, I don't forget. I just didn't look at if we were up 3-1 or 3-0. But the Spurs take it. Anthony Edwards is an absolute monster. And now to see if he gets a team, if he gets signed. If he doesn't, this is an issue because we can't give him training camps. Nobody's giving him a contract because I'm pretty sure... He's asking for a lot. He's a young, or a relatively young guy, 24 years old, in the mid-80s, probably asking for a lot, a ridiculous amount, and he doesn't have a contract again. This, <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. He's probably going to peak later on in his career when hopefully some team gives him a contract, please. But once again, another season without giving him a training camp, I might just move his peak back even more because this sucks. We are on the Hawks now. TJ Warren sort of kind of following us, being a creep. Uh, we're out here, though. Isaac Banga as the seventh man. I think he's putting up in... I don't know how many games. Is that one game? But he's putting up 18 points. Either if it's one game or not. But um, I'm going to, like I said, move back his peak again. Move back his peak. 
He's 24 years old. Two seasons of not giving him a training. Oh, wait, not his body. What the heck? His vitals. His shooting looks solid. Ever, uh, just improve his defense. Maybe his rebounding, his potential doesn't look good there. He's got four badges. Um, I hate it. I hate it here. I hate it here, please. Because <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to get a multiple-year contract. We can develop him in training camps. Somebody sign him in free agency, please. Let's see what he... Oh, hit my mic. Let's see uh, how many points he put up. He was putting up ridiculous numbers in like one game or two game, whatever that was. But LaMelo, from most improved to most valuable player, please, 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 Bulls, get the number one overall pick. Do something. Howard Arthur, rookie of the... As if we had a say in that. Cade Cunningham, six man, defensive player, Ben Simmons. Theo, most improved. Nick Nurse, 61 and 21. Um, I don't care about all NBA teams. I care about Isaac Bonga. What are we on? The Hawks, right? And we do not make the playoffs again. 30 and 52. I probably should have just looked at our record <laughs> instead of the players they got. Clay, John Collins, Trey Young. That's not enough. I mean, it's a 35-year-old Clay, but still. How many minutes? 12.7 points, six rebounds a game, one assist. Uh, come on, bro. Come on, bro. He can't just keep going from team to team. He's going on a world tour. Lakers, Orlando, technically Lakers, Wizards, Orlando, Clippers, uh, Sacramento, Atlanta. He's missing what? The Warriors for all the California teams? <laughs> He's got to get to the Warriors in one of these seasons. But his per 36 would have been 17 and 8. Like, start the man. Start the man. What are y'all doing? TJ Warren, was he still here? Or did they trade it for Klay Thompson? I didn't even pay attention. But the Hornets of all teams win. James Wiseman, when we need them the most, the New York Knicks come out clutch and give him a one-year contract of 22.75. He's actually going to play for every single team in this entire league. 25 years old, but we're on the Knicks. Now I got to go switch to the Knicks. Finally, a season where I get to give him an, uh, an off-season camp here, training camp. Nico on the team, Victor Oladipo, how old is he now? 33 years old, Isaac Bonga, 25, man. He's an 86 overall, that's pretty solid. Hopefully he reaches at least a 90 in this. At least a 90 with a team that gives him a four-year contract. Sekou Dumbuya is on the team as well. Jared Allen, not a horrible team, but no 90. Oh, I was gonna say no 90s when Jared Allen's right there at 90. I am blind. They got Rui Hachimura. We uh, reunite after his Washington Wizard days. Jawan Evans, Austin Wiley? Is that how you say it? Like, he looks good. He looks good. I don't, I don't understand. Just somebody, he's been on, he's been on half the teams in the league. Half the teams in the league. Watch, watch us get traded. Watch us get traded like in the, before the trade deadline. And then we're going to be on another team that we've never been on and just continue it. Please, Isaac, go to every team. And we're putting up 13 and a half, five points. What I noticed was, we're not shooting 50, 40, 90. We're shooting 61, 40, 90. 61, 40, 90. That, what? We're putting up 13 and a half, five rebounds. I just might make him the number one option in one of these seasons. Like, if you're shooting 60%, why not just throw him the ball every every possession? At least we get signed in the offseason. But the bad thing is they got Michael Porter Jr. here. Um, they have 291 overalls and 88 Michael Porter. Terrence Davis is an 86. We're an 86. So we don't improve this time. And we're only 26 years old. That is bad. I don't think we're going to reach a 90 overall. But that just kind of keeps it more realistic. For some reason, he doesn't improve. I mean, I did give him untapped potential until he was an A. He's still an A. Uh, but yeah, we're out here. We'll see what happens. They only gave us a one-year contract, but the Isaac Bongo World Tour continues. He's going to end up going to Europe, going to go end up going to China. But this might look like another border. Uh, they do have 290. So what did he put up, though? He put up 16 and 10. Hey, that's that's pretty good. I'm pretty 50, 40, 90. That is pretty damn good. Terrence Davis doesn't put up too many points, no matter if he gets 36 minutes or not. Isaac. His ridiculous shooting numbers, Simon Turner. We're st wait, but we're starting over Michael Porter Jr.? We're starting over a shooter like Michael Porter most. Probably, yeah, Eric Spolster likes his defense. So I'm guessing because Isaac Bonga has better defense than he does. Nine man rotation, two small forwards off the bench. You know what? We're ruining this season. We're ruining this season if we lose a lot. It's probably because I put Isaac Bonga as a first scoring option. But hey, world tour, at least Isaac Bonga could have fun, right? Let's have one season with the Heat. I hate it. 
I'm almost positive we could have been a good team, but I made Isaac Banga the number one option. I don't even know if he's scoring the most on our team, but I, I did it just because. Luka Doncic, most valuable. Rookie of the year, Dow Wright. LeBron James Jr., sixth man of the year. Jalen Duran, defensive player, most improved. Keenan Evans, Owen Taylor, 66 and 16. Now we go ahead. Uh, oh, we did make the playoffs. Okay, but we should have been a lot better. If you look at our squad, they signed Fultz for, I'm pretty sure he was out there for the minimum. He's only 28. He's a 91 overall. Michael Porter putting up 18. Marvin's putting up 23. Isaac's putting up 17, though. On, hey, he's efficient. Besides his three-point shot, not the best, but he's efficient. 52% from the field, 82% from the free throw line, 27.8 minutes, three fouls a game. That's not... That's not bad. None of it is bad. So it was just a team. It's not like he was chucking up shots, putting up 30% from the field or something. He's putting up 17 and 5 and still not even getting 30 minutes. Not once has the man gotten 30 minutes. Well, we'll see what happens in this first round. Nothing's going to happen. Anytime we make it, we lose in the first round. And now we see if we get a team. Wiseman again or Carl Cat wins it this time. He's probably there with Wiseman. Zion makes it again. Um... Can I get a multiple year contract? We're an 87 overall and no one wants to give us a bag. No one wants to give us a bag. The world tour continues or we might go on to a different team. But we once again, a training camp doesn't go to Isaac Banga, which they are crucial to his development to reach at least a 90 overall. Bro, he's not on a team again. I can't give him training camps. Here he is as a starter for the Nuggets. They have a pretty sick team. They have a 91, a 96. Donovan Mitchell went up to a 96? God damn. He's up to a 96. Isaac's an 88 here, only getting 25 minutes. Uh, Michael Foster, 87. Uh, 93 overall, Wendell. A 92 off the bench, an 81, an 81, and a 79. They should be running a nine-man rotation. One small forward off the bench, but he's, he's cold. His peak ends at the age of 32, so he has like four seasons... And I'm hoping at least I have three seasons, three seasons of consistent training camps to give him. If anything happens, we win a championship. Cool. I just don't see anything happening for our mans, man. He's not even getting starter minutes when he is a starter. Isaac finally retires 16 year pro, 37 years of age. Uh, he found a home these last three seasons. This season, they gave him a one-year contract, like 20-something million, and then they actually followed up and gave him two-year contracts. He put up 16, he put up 13, and that was off the bench. Off the bench is per 36. These last two seasons would have been 22 and 21 and 16.8. No team ever gave him starter. Actually, starter minutes, actual starter minutes, no 30 minutes a game, nothing like that. He played with Atlanta again. Um, let's go count the number of teams. Lakers won. Uh, Wizards, too, because, you know, he was on the Wizards to start this. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Almost played for half of the league. Career high, 37 in points. Um, what else? What about his, uh, rebounds, I guess? Two, Fifteen in a game. Five assists, five steals, three blocks, 38 minutes played. 38 minutes played is the most minutes he's ever played in his career. Career averages of 12, 5, and 1. I swear they, the game didn't want him to be good. The highest minutes he ever got was 28, not even close to 36. His per 36 numbers, his averages would have been what? 16.7 and 7. Drop a like, drop a comment down below what uh, player you'd like me to, to simulate next, re-simulate, whatever it may be. Subscribe if you are new, but as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you.